integrating parts of myself that I hate. Narcissism. The me that hyperfixates on other people's perceptions of me rather than receiving their energy or what they're saying. I'm just looking at myself from different surveillance angles. It's, it's a self-defeating pride. It's a self-defeating pride that keeps me at a perpetual state of insecurity and diminishing my power. Because rather than being present and being aware and taking in the world around me, I'm now like, I feel like I'm vibrating internally and gravity is piercing me and everyone is staring at me and I'm like, I can, it's like, my my strength is evaporating. And it's funny because when you, when you think of like self-absorption, um narcissism you think that oh that person thinks they're so big that person thinks like so highly of themselves but i think a lot of it is insecurity projecting what you're thinking about yourself onto others you are the surveillance camera in which i view myself and currently we're at a state of like in insecurity anxiety for integration for integration understanding main character syndrome I, I am I am my main character and they are their main characters. Like they spend their life in their body. It sounds obvious, but it's not something that I actualize. It's not something that I actualize. Like if I if I play a role in that movie in which they are the main character, then it's very minor, one. And two, it's gonna be filtered through their worldview that I'll never grasp the true depths of. In terms of narcissism it's not that bad you should you are your own priority you're within you that's the the center there's a balance to be had with, with there's a balance to be had that i'm working on i don't know if i want to keep advocating for it do, I, do, I feel like i have to i feel like i have to because that work is is so charged with abuse like i'm being consumed and i'm wounded and i'm traumatized but it's within all of us it's within all of us and we came here as the center of existence in these vessels and for some of us that transition from the root to the sacral from survival to sociability wasn't the smoothest and we're still figuring it out, we're still healing it. I find that the main differences between self-love and selfishness is that selfishness is when you're not fulfilling your needs, you're not loving yourself and you're expecting to get that need met externally. An example, clearly, clearly I'm very self-obsessed. I love hearing myself talk. I love the sound of my own voice. I love watching myself. I love this is the center stage this is the center stage like as long as my heart beats and my senses receive this is the center this is the center this is the focus point in which i view everything else i'm not gonna advertise my i'm not gonna advertise my ability to be empathetic or my ability to receive others and that, the truth is, like, when I'm doing it for myself and when my, my needs are met through myself, I, I have no problem bonding, connecting. I am currently in a period of hermetism. <laughs> Hermetic. And I'm grateful for it. I see it as when a bunch of plants are, like, clamouring for nutrients and clamouring for light and you uh, like separate them and plant them separately in space and now they can root and flourish with the new space it's, it's to force me to come into my powers to force me to learn everything that i would have expected another to do for me for myself embodying my divine masculine feminine and child all together almost at the end masculine a to b linear analytical technical direct 
orderly, structured, precise, task complete, never drawn the sun, it rises with the sun, it resets with the sun. And then feminine energy, abstract, fluid, expression, sense. And then off of sense, I branched off emotion, feeling, sensuality, and intuition. Seemingly random, but it's nuanced. And it resets with the phases of the moon. It's the chart I drew. But the reason why it's, it's, it's become problematic to say, because it's like, oh, men aren't the only ones that are analytical and direct and all the unstructured. And it's like, yes, because we all... Yes, because we all embody masculine femininity, masculinity and femininity is within every being, every being. Anyway, I'm going back to the other video. I'm going back to the other video. Going to the end. <laughs> A healthy balance of narcissism and empathy. It's achievable. It's achievable. I like that I'm having this period of solitude to use my masculine and feminine to raise my child into a place of wholeness okay the part of me that is critical of others it comes to bite me back tenfold because what felt like a righteous bell to ring at the time comes back as an internal automated alarm that goes off anytime i do anything remotely similar it's not my job to instruct anyone you have different paths I am the center of my universe, they are the center of theirs. Ideally, I only want to give advice to people that I'd be willing to take advice from, that reciprocation, that balance, so it doesn't feel patronizing. No one is being spoken down to because I know that I take it from you and you take it from me. Not like, oh, I know better than you. Advice sits on the surface, like it sits on the surface and it can be absorbed like lotion. But the absorption, is way it's not comparable to experience experience will rattle you from the core the, you're, you're going to feel that like there's no doubt undoubtedly undoubtedly so it's like you may feel or at times i may have felt like i needed like it's just not right if i don't speak out about this but your words your words hit them at the surface if you let them experience it comes from the core with integration, realizing that criticism is amazing when directed at the right areas is, is necessary for improvement. I have a notes page called I was lurking on your channel and is a, is a designated space for me to be as harsh and invasive as I want to. I'm stretching my analytical brain and it's become a really educational experience actually staring at the eyes that are meeting me in the camera, their little like just everything, their speech patterns, what's important to them, podcasts, I really enjoy podcasts. I'm learning a lot and it's like even even the, the stuff that you don't agree with in a way can be even more enriching because it helps you carve out what you do want. I don't need to give, be giving anyone advice, like the point I made about experience is golden, I'm, I'm not sharing how i'm doing it for myself from a place of honesty clarity ideally but sometimes it's fuzzy i'm growing i think that's way more beneficial than getting on here to be like oh you need to do this and this is how you need to do this like this is what i'm doing at the moment this is how i'm defining masculinity and femininity in 2023 that idea will grow, that perception will evolve. Next one, the part of me that is volatile, reactive and hot-headed. I want to get to a place where my words are respected without any aggression needed. My, my words hold power inherently. The aggression is a disservice to my feelings because it makes a mess of the situation piling on top of the underlying issue. And it, it's a disservice to communication because if you're coming in on the offense and the other person goes into the defense, they're closing themselves off, they're not gonna receive you. It is a disservice to your emotions and a disservice to communication. Also, the subtle hostility that will be in my tone as well. I, I heard it, like, when listening to, like, voice notes with my partner. Like, I think I'm being polite, but I'm not. You can hear, you can hear the bitterness. And it's, it's not needed. It's not needed. 
the solution, the integration isn't about taming the knee or training the knee. It's to use my divine feminine to fully understand and process these feelings. There's nothing wrong with being angry. It's, it's, what, it's what you choose to do with that. If we are in a body that is designed for feeling, then it makes sense that as part of our purpose to honour all of our feelings. But if we're too heavy in, in, in our masculinity, we may think we need to con we need to act, 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 act. But it's like, sometimes go inward, sometimes be sensitive. Like shadow masculine energy, I guess. It can like be overly controlling of others. Rather than exercising control inwards, we feel like the way to peace is to exercise authority elsewhere. You move like a tank, nobody can like interfere with what you're doing. It's good when you're like going towards a task, when you're trying to complete a task, when you're doing something that's like, like working on a project, but with matters of the heart, with matters of emotion, if we're not leaning into our feminine energy, we tend to do ourselves a disservice. Nurturing, understanding, care, patience, honesty, why am I angry? Why am I feeling these ways? Because as you're looking at why it is, you'll find that the reason is fair. Like your feelings are always valid. Always, always. My feelings are always valid. That's what I do with them. Regulating my nervous system. I went to therapy for a short time. I will be going back when the money is right. And I remember her telling her about a time when I blew up at work. And when I Googled it, they were like a amygdala hijack. But my therapist said, you're from early trauma. Your nervous system is like too excited. It gets excited like very quickly. And the time I've spent looking into anatomy, it strengthened my ability to translate, attempt to translate what my body is saying to me. I'd say this is more of a fear than a hate, but my drug fascination. The lines are blurred. Like, is this genuine concern for myself or is it the stigma that I've learned from society? The thing about the thing about addictive tendencies is that they arise before the drug is introduced. Sugar got to me way before cannabis did. I put sugar packs in my mouth, the paper ones, and just sip as it dissolved. We're using it as a substitute for comfort, which creates a dependency, but it shouldn't overshadow the potential for enrichment. Potential. Potential. I love, I love that people are using the word plant medicine now and sharing their stories about how beneficial like these things have been for them and how healing they have been for them. I didn't really use that term because ecstasy and LSD do not grow on trees. Uh, when I turned 21, the thing is the disclaimer, this is not a normal experience on psychedelics. I guess when people explain having bad trips, no, I, it, different, it, it varies from person to person, but it wasn't, I did not dose myself correctly. I did seven grams, which is way too much. And my mental state was bad. The days before, like leading up to it, like, like two days before, a day before, I had I had been crying the most I'd ever cried. Society's degradation of drug users only exacerbates the problem because now people that are experimenting or people that are using it habitually, we have an added mental weight that's put onto us. It was that stigma against like like drug use that I used to like dismantle and diminish myself in my entirety. Like telling myself I'm just a uh, innately junky, perverse fuck up, like scum of society just like ruining it for others with my self-destruction just, just be better off with just be better off that to be blunt because it's like feeling just just like the low 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 low, low. and like there's no hope it's not the substance it's the user it's it's the way you use them it's the way you interact with them these problems that we have in our psyche 
these like patterns of degradation that were perpetuating it, it, it's outside of drug use like sheltering we just end up showing them they just end up getting we end up getting exposed to it in this most extreme case rather than it just being introduced to part of reality because it is part of reality it's like hide 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 and then we get because it, it's not it doesn't disappear it doesn't vanish it's like where we're being exposed to it and there's all of these questions and there's all of this confusion but it just stays inside there's there's no there's no unpacking there's no understanding education is important education is important i find it ironic that a lot of the things that i like despised in but in school like for oh, ugh, i'm never gonna need this so this is irrelevant this is a waste of my time like i'm actually having to look back into it because i need it things like plant hormones because they started gardening or phagocytosis because they started researching my immune system or like the, the nervous system i remember looking at the diagrams and that was the most complicated so i decided that i didn't need to know it so i could keep myself like feeling smart while being dumb <laughs> it's just my ego's way of like i don't need this i don't like feeling good while not making the effort to learn about it but the desire was important because a lot of the people that did well is not even like they cared too tough for the information but they were playing the exam game they were playing the performance game and they excelled learning something because you're able to apply it to the world around you is not just sitting in the library it's part of your greater awareness i think that we need to take out how content heavy it is i remember getting to year nine and seeing the textbooks and i'm like why is this bigger than the bible why is this bigger than the bible <laughs> it's just, i think they need to remove the content and use technology to create more immersive learning experiences. So we're learning about the body. Let me see. Let me let me get an anime. Let's let me get a CGI animation of like what's going on. Let me. We're learning about plants. Okay, let's 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 physically do it. And it's like, okay, I get I get on a resource, on a resource level, it's not always practical. That's why I think using technology is our way, is our way to it. Because if we get simulating these things is a lot more um efficient because not only can you get that across a lot of schools, we can just spread it online, but you can go into detail. Like the technology that we have for the way animation has improved, Super Mario, Spider Man across the spider-verse avatar the way of water the way cgi is working now i get that it's expensive but it's like what if some of the writers rooms and production teams all of the people that are a part of these projects at the end of the credits what if they were helping create immersive educational films if the way of digesting the information was more fun then the exam performance would increase without all the pressure, without this whole, oh, you need to get into these schools and you need to get these jobs and only this, like, without the competitiveness, I, I think the the performance, the performance and retention as well. Because so the, even people that did well, is like they come out of it and it's like, it just, it just goes because it's like, there's, there's no more exam pressure. It's like, I was holding this information for the exam. And that's all my notes. I ended up branching off into like a lot of different things. I'm okay with that. I'm actually okay with that. I'm not watch mojo. I don't have a concise list of things that I'm gonna stick to and stay to. But I need to make it like this, to be honest, because it's like I'm never gonna be this way mentally and physically ever again. So the more organic my talking is, the more you get a sense of who I truly am for now. I was scared to get on camera today. It was like 
or fussing over my hair and shit. <laughs> Having the camera close and using the front camera helps because looking, being able to see myself is like I have someone with me. When the when I'm using the back camera, it's a lot more daunting because I'm like, okay, look at the camera. Okay, look at the camera. Okay, say your thing. Okay, say your thing. But there's comfort. There's comfort in my reflection. There's comfort in actually seeing. Hey, this is what that looks like, and this strobe looks doing that, and the lights are doing this. I'm going to make myself dinner. Do you want to come and make dinner with me? I think you do. Cheerio, 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 cheerio. Perfect timing. Don't throw out the blister. No, you know. I was like, hey, Nancy, is there any other parts of yourself that you don't like? Because that's the title of this video, but no. I'm in a very good phase. I'm in a very good phase. I'm getting so clear on my dreams and what I want, where I want to go. My breakup was a long time coming, a long time coming. This time I'm shooting off. I'm not like, because you know how people are like, only time heals it. Emotions are endless. For me, it's like, I'm going to spend this time like shooting to what I want, because if I'm healing from him, then my attention is still on him and that gravity is just gonna bring me back to him but if i'm like okay i want to do this i want to do this and i want this and i want to have this and i want to do this and i want to do this and i want to do this my gravity is bringing me towards that oh it's wet Well, also the wind isn't sour this time. <laughs> I think my dream today was to remind me not to have destination addiction because it was like very harrowing, like trying to get out of school in like a very eerie way. I think I think that it was trying to tell me that don't spend all your time trying to get out of a place only to get out of it and then spend all your time thinking about your next place. Or oh, uh, 10 things that I love about this present moment. I like that I'm enjoying my own company. I like that I have a cat. I like that I live in my own space. I like that my walls are decorated. I like that I have a whiteboard. My stuff is fluffy. I like that I built a garden. I like that I've learned to love the area that I live in. I like that I've gone to really deep dark places and able to come out of that and see and still love it, still see hope, heal those viewpoints that I had of myself. I tried chai today. I really like it. <laughs> I'm really passionate about music. I like that I'm a great singer. I like that I've got like a... <laughs> the thing that does this. Uh, the car wash. I like... <laughs> I like that I'm built like that. <laughs> I, I like a lot of things. I like a lot of things. I think it was, I think maybe my eighth birthday, I got a little kitchen and now I actually have a little kitchen. Like it works. It came with plastic food, but then I'd use my Play-Doh set to like make food. And I remember it had like a, a what's the sieve of the bigger holes? Colon colander colander and I pushed the yellow play-doh through that to make like spaghetti <laughs> and we're making spaghetti today what whole wheat so it is not yellow this particular brand I love the smell I love the smell and the taste of it in bulk mm, one two three four five six seven we have seven left but I think we ordered like 20 okay my initial plan was to get like a cream and then put garlic in it but I, I could just tell that it would taste thin it's lasagna sauce but i'm gonna use it for my spaghetti and chicken yes
Let's cuddle with me. Um, I fell asleep. He didn't eat his chicken, so I ate it. And now I'm making more of the clothes I wanted. I'm glad because, because of all the changes, like, I was feeling, like, kind of distanced from him. He went out, but then it started raining, so then he came in, and then he came and laid on me, and I started crying. And so this one is for you. <laughs> Labors have set in. It's actually really good. Enjoy, enjoy. Let me get you some calories. The lighting is so good. It's not only the strip lights. Head stuff. I do have my ring light to turn it right. And I use that for when I'm filming with the blue lights, the Saturn Alien on the rocket. I used the, that as well. Am I even that hungry? I just felt like I just felt like I had to. And it's like in total that's the entire pack of spaghetti i can stomach a lot of spaghetti i think my digestive system is just like friends with this some days i just like fry it in garlic and butter and that's but like a titty yeah that's it baby pull me closer in the backseat of my rover like i know you can't afford bite that tattoo on your shoulder uh, mm -mm 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 I'm a night owl. There's just something about everyone else and all of the commission of society going like this that makes me go like this. I'm thinking to have a TikTok for my dance thing because I hope it will help people find my channel. I have six subscribers. And also I want to put my bank my bank or so I'm going there as I start to fill up my wall. One of the things I was gonna do, like I was gonna have the sun and the moon and the star. So the sun mask my dad the moon fam my mom and then the star the child me and have it like that but then i was looking at the colors and i was like w i wanted to do like the background be black so it's like space but it's like would i make the sun like orangey and it's like is the moon gonna be gray because the orange next to the gray they're not gonna be like the gray won't look luminous and then i've already like sewn a sun and i was looking at those colors and i was like yeah I don't think that this will be executed well in Minka because I have I have one like a Tetris one that I did the black and the black shows up so quickly so quickly it just wouldn't bang it wouldn't bang am I even hungry it doesn't matter yeah it does yeah it does are you hungry girl I know like, when I arose when I woke up from the slumber slumber I my stomach said burr but I maybe it was just cold. Hey, I just give it to you. I got myself a whole aloe vera leaf. That's what I used before I filmed the video. I was just thinking like to the aloes I tried to grow and propagate. It's four pounds. I've I've never had I've never had it before. Moisturizing of it was really nice. My skin just like went. I'm used to like having a layer of oil. To like give myself a shine it was interesting to like see something just like go into my skin and i feel i feel real naturally like cutting from a plant to use on me he hasn't eaten much of his food i, mean, I have both dry food and wet food out for him and he hasn't been eating much i think the change is making him lose his appetite i hope he gets used to the tripod this is a new era and i'm shooting for my dreams i'm shooting for the stars Yeah. 
that is four chickens on your plate there's two underneath and then two on top enjoy I was trying to get him to play with my balloons or seeing if he'd open the bathroom door by himself like he could he opens it a little bit with his paw and then he just kind of stops and then the balloon as well like he looks at it and he backs up and I think it's his prey instinct I think when things are bigger than him naturally he feels the need to like get into stealth mode and hide so like this tripod is probably very intimidating for him but, but he'll get used to it he'll get used to it my red lights are flashing pink but this pink setting isn't on there and it was like yes whatever entities come through is here to support me so definitely has a bit more of a bite to it They said, yes, Nancy, get that YouTube coin, get that YouTube coin. If I was going to go dressed as a, like, dress up for Halloween, I didn't get any, I didn't get invited to any parties because I don't have any friends. But if I was going to go to a costume party, I'd make a hat, I'd make a hat. And then wear like all pink, skin tight pink, or all. No, I'd be pink, I'd be pink. I'd be a vape. <laughs> That's what I dress up as. So I'd wear all one colour, and then I'd make a hat that looks like this. And that's my costume. That's what I'd wear. I'm not so hungry. Gluttony. Of course pride is a sin. Of course pride, of course, of course when they're fucking like eating the Bible and shitting it back out to align with whatever they wanted. Of course they're gonna say, oh, and do you know what God hates the most? Pride. Of course, of course they, they don't want you full of yourself. They don't want you stepping into your power because you are God incarnate. Jesus was your brother, your brother. He was showing you what was in you too. Everything is connected. There's no, there's no belief that's excluded from the eternalness of everything. It's, it's the pressure that that recruits most of the evil. I have a video. It was about like cleansing. I speak about the hygiene Olympics. Why well, I'm not interested. And I speak about that same programming in religion. Mm -hmm. Why have we stopped? Continue. It's flashing a bit. You know what? If this is about like parts of myself that I hate, I feel like maybe I should talk about that. That whole like if you don't do this, you're going to hell. You're going to be judged. You're born into sin. If you're you're desperately wicked and unclean, even when they're talking about heaven, it's warning saying that oh the path to destruction is broad but this is narrow and if you're rich it's harder than the eye of the needle like it's so low vibrational the the vivid the description of hell is so vivid fire a brimstone whipping their national teeth you have all of these videos and all of these art depicting it so clearly and then when they want to talk about heaven it's like oh pearly gates and banquets and flowers singing not flowers and great like it's just literally harry potter does better world building than what christians do for heaven it's like you're not gonna tell me that's love you're not gonna spend all your time telling me oh but you might die or oh, but judgment day or oh, but the rapture you're not gonna spend so much time pressurizing me with that fear and then tell me that it's love it's fear parading itself pretending to be love love allows it's not like oh if you do this then you're you're outcasted. You can never be separate from God because you are God incarnate. The fact that we breathe, we are pure source energy. There's a knowing when we come here as babies. There's a knowing. There's there's a reason why we're so like drawn to new life because it's like 
source energy in its pure form. And then that core, it doesn't leave, it does not leave, it just has layers built up around it. And unfortunately, we live in a society that wants to put you, like, get us into the industrial machine, into the capitalist machine. So it's, it's within their best interest to make sure that they convince you that you must leave those things to progress into like whatever that that is hey baby how are you mm -hmm. like love doesn't have to be taught you don't have to like obey a religion to like be a good human love just radiates and pours out of our pores our beings is it's the truth of who we are we came from love eternal is 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 who we are. There is no separation. When it comes to purity, I understand purity as like chemical, chemical purity, and it's like it's man-made artificial separation. We've used these methods to separate it from everything else that would naturally occur with it. And it's like you, you don't you can't employ the same rules for human beings where organic matter where beings of multicellular organisms and when it comes to our immune system they eat it as in they swallow it digest it and then they spit out they spit out the the remnants the the dead the dead material it becomes part of them they don't run from it and it's like i say all this to like what is what is cleanliness really because it's like you're creating the perception that you're separate to this thing that needs to be rid for you to feel clean. And I was like, okay, what about cultures that did that to their lands, that saw the worms as dirty, as parasites, as pests? What they did was deplete the nutrients in the soil. Heaven and hell, their states of mind, their relative. That shroom trip for me was, yes, that was definitely hellish. Heaven is a chilo with a sound mind, with a healthy mind. This is a sense of stage. We've come forth in these physical bodies designed for feeling, for our expansion. To integrate the darkness, <sighs> overcome it, to solve it. We want to solve it. We don't hide from it. <sighs> it's through these limitations that we push the depths of our expansion. And it's like... Slowly, 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 we're going to wake up to the fact that the human body was not a meat suit. It wasn't just a vehicle or a container or just the flesh. Like, this, the way this thing is designed, the way this thing is designed, the way this thing is conscious, the way this thing talks and receives and alchemizes, we're going we're gonna to wake up to the divinity that we hold. Part of that is going to come through sex. But just sensory feelings as a whole. Um, what's the thing that that's like, oh, you're on the autistic spectrum if you get like uh, sensory overload, like you're very, that, that sensitivity isn't, it isn't a disorder. It's, I believe, I believe it's us, um, it's us adapting, it's us evolving to like all of the fastness because we're getting more sensitive and um, we're being forced to fine-tune that sensitivity. I remember like trying to get Leah used to like the roads and everything but it's just like the people walking and the vibration of the car and all the commotion is so much for him, it's so much for him. But it's like oh yeah I, I grew up like to get to nursery I had to, my mom probably pushed me in a buggy through all of this commotion. We were thrown into it. That disconnect in understanding and communication with our parents is because we are born your pure source energy like of higher more uh, spongy uh, consciousness when you're born a baby that's born right now is absorbing how the world is how creation is right now is is that they're, they're getting they're quicker they're quicker I remember when I was like I don't know six maybe maybe younger but we were playing PS2 Dragon Ball Z me and my brother and we must have played for hours before I realised that my controller was unplugged and he had been playing with the computer this whole time. I, I, I. Meanwhile, my niece, 
under a year old my brother will give her a controller that isn't working and she'll figure it out and go for his controller like there's times when like i recorded a video of us and she looks at the phone and she goes like like she's understanding what the world is and it's like me on the other hand as i'm a baby no one's holding a smartphone in my face like my what i'm absorbing from the world as i'm of this higher consciousness is different to what a baby born a decade after me two decades after me three decades after me is absorbing everything that we hate we're gonna understand and then love it but it's like that place of your love eternal pure source energy everything is complete there everything is whole there it's through that separation of light and dark duality to forge our dimension the third dimension one two three we're the center stage this is this is the leading edge of the leading edge of creation as abraham hicks would say my heart 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 my lovely non-binary heart mm. Ooh, this culture of like oh there are i remember growing up around my older brothers and they're just talking about women like they're nothing with this whole like oh be and delete culture let me let me just yucky and it's like they 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 were like soothing themselves with oh she's a child she doesn't understand and it's like deep that understand that a child is of higher consciousness first and foremost they're just they're fresh they're freshly here they haven't got so many layers on top they're understanding they're forming their worldviews they're more receptive than you are i remember like working with kids the way they look at you they, they look at you like they look at you really look at you Now that the average child is using TikTok, they're not solely on the artist catalogue buying dollies anymore. Like, I think we need to rethink this whole, oh, don't expose them to sex, don't expose them to drugs, don't do that, because we just leave them to be fed to the wolves, see it in the most extreme, <sighs> the extreme state. Tactful exposure. And my video is expansion um i say exposing someone before they're ready is abuse so i'm proposing a tactful exposure and then i use the video of worms like how they procreate and i think that's on the right track to like giving them an understanding of these things before the internet shows them something barbaric and drugs as well like if, if you if you have that if you have that within you like you're you're on that path like it's not like oh sheltering me is going to stop me from doing it it's just going to have me taking them uneducated me not knowing how to keep myself safe how safe or how safer would our youth be if they weren't accessing their their whatever through like these shady these shady dealers and they could just take their id to the dispensary we are a collective and everything that we're working through is everything is in motion everything that we're thinking about is being thought about by others and we're organs that will churn and do what we need to do everything everything is exactly where it needs to be working as it should be divide up the feminine and the masculine with receiving and shooting driving for going towards i want to edit this i want to edit this because what i'm shooting towards is it's not just a career i'm not just waiting for the check um, what i have to say is gonna cause a ripple effect we need more content like this people just bearing their their mind and showing how they live not so polished not so and i want to make friends i want to make friends i'm gonna make friends from my channel i just know i am the unk The feminine, the ring, the children, the intersection, 
and the masculine debates. Another way to describe it is if you had a bell and the feminine and the masculine were the two sides. But I like the bell analogy because the feminine and the masculine aren't separate, they're just one thing. And then the pendulum swinging is the child. Wholeness comes from embodying them all. And it's not like society is oh this is feminine and this is masculine it's already inherently within you the behaviors are already within you for me the part of me that lasted after a man to wake up to the man that was me that resided within me i have been in this world it's, it's been a relay of life and life and life and evolution and evolution i have been a man millions of times millions of times if i can even separate it like that because it's like after i leave this vessel i don't even know if i'm gonna still see myself as this using my masculine to stay focused and driven and firm and assertive and um, my feminine energy to embrace my creativity, my fluidity, my expression, my the things that are seemingly random, my intuition, using that masculinity to make that fluidity tangible, this holding my my core, my inner child, that pure source kind of the, the heaven that resides within me. Although these things are hard to explain in a way that's like a clear cut a clear cut definition, the more we keep speaking about it, the more we keep speaking about it, speaking about it is we're developing it, we're developing it. We're shifting the culture. I'm in the summer song Has it brought my life back? My ex was like pushing me to have like a daily routine and then I, I just said to myself like I don't I have I, I have phases and I was like oh shit like the moon like the moon like I have time periods. I'm I'm following my my natural peaks and troughs of energy. Not being like, okay, the sun is up. I have to do this at this time and that at this time and this at this time. No, just being able to come out with what I want when I want is a blessing. I don't know what's next. I have my dreams. I have my goals. But I, I want to feel blessed early, early early releasing that destination addiction and realizing that it's safe that it's safe Use that lint. It's fluff. Bye bye. Oh no, I don't get you. I don't know. I should keep picking it out because my body's fluffy now. I don't think you just accept it. Or keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.